Welcome to our channel, where we transform the mysteries of ancient history into a tranquil journey to guide you into a restful sleep. Tonight, we invite you to close your eyes and unwind as we gently explore fascinating facts from civilizations long past. Imagine the soft glow of candles flickering in an ancient library, the scent of old parchment and ink surrounding you, as we embark on this serene adventure. From the enigmatic depths of Egyptian tombs to the timeless wisdom of Greek philosophers, let the calm stories of yesteryear soothe your mind and transport you to a world where history whispers its secrets. Allow every tale to gently unfold, easing you into a peaceful state. Now, let's begin this soothing voyage through time, where each historical mystery will become a lullaby, helping you drift off into the most serene slumber. The first mystery to lull us into tranquility touches upon the awe-inspiring pyramids of ancient Egypt. These magnificent structures, standing tall in the sands of Giza, have puzzled historians and scientists for centuries. It's believed that the Great Pyramid of Giza, built over four or five hundred years ago, was constructed as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. Despite extensive studies, the exact methods used to build these colossal pyramids remain a mystery. Picture this, thousands of workers laboring under the scorching sun, meticulously arranging massive limestone and granite blocks, each weighing several tons. How did they manage to transport these huge stones from distant quarries and lift them into place without the advanced machinery we have today? Some theories suggest they used a system of ramps, while others speculate about the use of levers or even extraterrestrial assistance. As you imagine the ancient Egyptian workers, the rhythmic sound of chisels against stone and the steady beat of drums guiding their labor. Let the mystery of their ingenuity gently lull your thoughts. The precise alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies also adds to the enigma, hinting at an advanced understanding of astronomy and mathematics. This ancient wonder reminds us of the profound knowledge and skill possessed by civilizations long gone, a timeless puzzle whispering through the sands of time. As you ponder these ancient mysteries, let your mind drift deeper into relaxation, feeling the calm embrace of history guide you towards a restful sleep. The second mystery envelops us in the mystical aura of ancient Greece, focusing on the enigmatic oracle of Delphi. Nestled on the slopes of Mount Parnassus, the sanctuary of Delph, I was considered the center of the world by the ancient Greeks. Here, the oracle, a priestess known as the Pythia, would enter a trance-like state to deliver cryptic prophecies. Imagine the atmosphere, the fragrant aroma of laurel leaves burning in the air, the soft murmurs of pilgrims awaiting their turn, and the gentle breeze rustling through the olive groves. The Pythia, seated on a tripod above a fissure in the earth, would inhale ethylene vapors that emerge from below, believed to induce her prophetic visions. The riddles she spoke were often vague and open to interpretation, yet they held immense influence over critical decisions in ancient Greece from political strategies to personal guidance. One famous prophecy foretold the rise and fall of King Croesus of Lydia. The oracle declared that if Croesus waged war, he would destroy a great empire. Interpreting this as a sign of victory, Croesus attacked Persia, only to witness the downfall of his own empire instead. This story highlights the profound impact the oracle had on shaping historical events wrapped in the mesmerizing veil of divine mystery. As you envision the sacred temple, the flickering torchlight casting long shadows on weathered stone, allow the whispers of the oracle to draw you deeper into a serene state. Let the tale of Delphi's cryptic revelations ease your mind, guiding you towards a tranquil sleep. The third mystery takes us to the grandeur of the Roman Empire, focusing on the mysterious disappearance of the Ninth Legion. The Ninth Legion, also known as Legio Roman, Nine Hispana, was one of the most formidable units in the Roman army. Imagine the disciplined ranks of legionaries, their gleaming armor and red tunics reflecting the sun, marching in unison to the rhythm of their heavy boots. This legion was stationed in Britain during the early 2nd century, and then, quite inexplicably, it vanished from the historical record. Historians have long debated what happened to the Ninth Legion, some theorize they met their end in a devastating battle with local tribes in northern Britain, while others suggest they were transferred elsewhere within the empire and ultimately disbanded. 
the mystery deepens with the absence of conclusive archaeological evidence, leaving us to wonder about the fate of these brave soldiers. Envision the misty landscape of ancient Britain, with dense forests and rugged hills shrouded in fog, where the echoes of a lost legion might still linger. The disappearance of the Ninth Legion stands as a haunting reminder of the many untold stories hidden within the annals of history. As you ponder the enigma of the Ninth Legion's fate, let your thoughts drift like the morning mist over ancient battlefields, bringing a quiet sense of curiosity and wonder. Feel the gentle pull of these historical mysteries, guiding you towards a deeper state of relaxation and a restful sleep, where the whispers of history become a soothing lullaby. The fourth mystery immerses us in the enigmatic history of the Minoan civilization and the still undeciphered Lin, era script. Picture the serene island of Crete, where the Minoans flourished over three, five hundred years ago, creating a society known for its intricate art and sophisticated architecture. Imagine the grand palaces like Nassos, with their majestic frescoes depicting vibrant scenes of nature and daily life. The Minoans were remarkable sailors and traders, navigating the Mediterranean Sea and establishing a network that connected them with diverse cultures. Yet, despite their advancements, much about their society remains shrouded in mystery, particularly their writing system known as Linear A. Linear A is an ancient script that has baffled linguists and archaeologists for decades. Unlike its successor, Linear B, which has been deciphered and linked to the Mycenaean Greeks, Linear A remains an unsolved puzzle. Visualize the delicate clay tablets inscribed with this script, filled with symbols that tell the story of a civilization long past. The inability to fully understand Lin, era means that many aspects of Minon life, including their administrative practices and religious beliefs, remain hidden from us. Some believe that deciphering Linear, it could unlock secrets about the origins of European civilization itself. As you delve into the mystery of the Minoans and their undeciphered script, let your mind wander through the ancient corridors of Nassos, where the echoes of a lost language whisper softly. Enveloped in this historical enigma, allow yourself to drift deeper into relaxation, feeling the gentle pull of these ancient mysteries guiding you towards a peaceful sleep. The fifth mystery takes us into the heart of the Indus Valley civilization, revealing the secrets of its advanced urban planning. Imagine walking through the ruins of ancient cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa, where the remnants of meticulously organized streets and sophisticated drainage systems speak of a highly developed society. This civilization, emerging around four, five hundred years ago in what is now Pakistan and Northwest India, demonstrated remarkable expertise in city planning. Picture wide, straight streets laid out in a precise grid pattern flanked by sturdy brick houses that hint at a standardized architectural style. One of the most astonishing aspects of the Indus Valley civilization is its complex drainage system, suggesting a keen understanding of sanitation and public health. Envision covered drains running alongside the streets, carrying waste away from residential areas, a feat of engineering that some modern cities struggled with until recent times. The Great Bath of Mohenjo-Daro another marvel, points to a culture that valued cleanliness and possibly ritualistic bathing. As you imagine the serene waters of the Great Bath, reflecting the soft glow of the setting sun, consider the mystery that still envelopes this ancient civilization. Despite the discovery of numerous artifacts and inscriptions, their script remains undeciphered, leaving significant gaps in our understanding of their language, religion, and social structure. The sudden decline of the Indus Valley civilization around 1900 BC adds to the enigma, with theories ranging from climatic changes to invasions, yet no definitive answer. As you delve into the mystery of the Indus Valley and its urban wonders, let the silence of its ancient streets and the wisdom of its unknown architects whisper to you. Allow the quiet tranquility of these historical secrets to guide you into deeper relaxation where the mysteries of the past gently lull you towards a restful sleep. The sixth mystery transports us to the legendary lost city of Atlantis, as described by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Plato's writings, dating back to around 360 BC, tell of a magnificent and powerful civilization that existed some nine zero 
000 years before his time. Envision a vast island, rich in natural resources, surrounded by a lush and fertile landscape. According to Plato, Atlantis was a utopian society with advanced technology and unparalleled architectural grandeur. Picture grand temples, massive walls, and a bustling harbor filled with ships from around the world. The people of Atlantis were said to live in harmony, with a highly organized social structure and an economy that thrived on agriculture, trade, and artistry. Plato's account describes Atlantis as a formidable naval power that sought to dominate the Mediterranean world. However, its ambition and moral decay led to its downfall. The gods, displeased with the Atlanteans' hubris, unleashed a series of catastrophic earthquakes and floods that caused the entire island to sink beneath the waves, disappearing without a trace. Despite extensive searches and numerous theories, the exact location of Atlantis remains one of history's greatest mysteries. Some believe it may have been situated in the Atlantic Ocean, while others speculate it could be in the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, or even Antarctica. Imagine the tranquil waters of the ocean, where the sun sets in the distance, casting a golden glow on the horizon. As the waves gently lap against the shore, contemplate the possibility of an advanced civilization lying hidden beneath the sea, waiting to be rediscovered. The tale of Atlantis serves as a timeless reminder of the potential heights of human achievement and the fragility of civilizations. Allow the legend of Atlantis to captivate your imagination, like the soft murmur of the ocean's waves, guiding you into a state of deep relaxation. Let the mystery of this lost city become a soothing lullaby, easing you into a peaceful sleep, where the whispers of ancient lore gently cradle your dreams. The seventh mystery reveals the surprising truths about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and their disputed location. The Hanging Gardens are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, described as a marvel of engineering and beauty. Imagine a lush, green oasis of terraced gardens, filled with exotic plants and cascading waterfalls, rising high above the arid plains of Mesopotamia. According to ancient texts, these gardens were built by King Nebuchadnezzar to around 600 BC to please his homesick wife, Amides, who longed for the verdant hills of her homeland. The gardens were said to be an extraordinary feat, with an intricate irrigation system that brought water from the Euphrates River to nourish the plants. Picture an elaborate network of pumps, chains and buckets tirelessly lifting water to the highest terraces, creating a paradise in the middle of the desert. Yet, despite these vivid descriptions, the exact location of the Hanging Gardens remains a matter of debate among historians and archaeologists. Some scholars argue that they were indeed located in Babylon, near present-day Baghdad in Iraq, based on ancient writings like those of Greek historian Herodotus and Babylonian priest Berossus. Others, however, propose alternative locations, citing the lack of concrete archaeological evidence in Babylon. One compelling theory suggests that the gardens were actually in Nineveh, the capital of the Assyrian Empire, built by King Sennacherib. This theory is supported by inscriptions found in Nineveh, describing an impressive garden and elaborate waterworks similar to those attributed to the Hanging Gardens. As you envision the splendor of these ancient gardens, the scent of blooming flowers and the soothing sound of flowing water filling the air, allow the mystery of their true location to gently captivate your mind. The absence of definitive evidence leaves room for imagination and wonder inviting you to ponder the ingenuity and artistry of ancient civilizations. Let the enigma of the Hanging Gardens, with their disputed origins and legendary beauty, guide you towards a deeper state of relaxation. Feel the serenity of this ancient mystery envelop you, like the gentle embrace of a garden in full bloom, easing you into a peaceful and restful sleep. Allow the whispers of history to become a tranquil lullaby, transporting you to a place where the secrets of the ancient world lull your thoughts into quiet slumber. The eighth mystery delves into the puzzling Nazca lines in Peru and the theories behind their creation. Imagine flying over the vast, arid plains of southern Peru, where you gaze down to see a series of intricately drawn lines and shapes etched into the earth. These enormous geoglyphs, known as the Nazca lines, cover an area of nearly 50 square kilometers and depict a variety of figures, 
from straight lines to complex shapes like animals, plants, and geometric patterns. Created by the ancient Nazca culture between 500 BC and 500 AD, the purpose and method of these drawings have been topics of intense debate and curiosity. The lines were made by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert, revealing the lighter-colored earth beneath. Envision the simplicity of the tools that might have been used wooden stakes and ropes, yet the precision required to create such large and accurate designs from the ground. How could a civilization without advanced technology produce these monumental artworks with such stunning precision? Some theories suggest the Nazca people developed a sophisticated understanding of geometry and employed surveying techniques. Others propose they could have used basic mapping tools or even created smaller scale models before drawing the full-sized versions. The most intriguing aspect of the Nazca lines is their purpose. Some researchers believe they had astronomical functions, aligning with celestial bodies to mark solstices and equinoxes. Visualize ancient priests observing the stars, using the lines as a giant calendar to predict seasonal changes. Another theory posits that the lines served as a form of communication with deities. A massive open-air temple, where rituals and ceremonies were performed to honor gods who controlled the weather and fertility. Imagine the Nazca people gathering around these sacred spaces, engaging in rituals, dances, and offerings to connect with the divine. A more speculative theory suggests that the lines were created as pathways for water, guiding it from the mountains to the arid plains below, aiding in irrigation. Picture narrow channels etched into the earth, directing essential water sources across the landscape. Some even propose that these geoglyphs might have been markers for extraterrestrial visitors, a theory popularized by author Erich von den Eichen. Although lacking scientific support, this idea imagines the lines as runways for ancient alien spacecraft or messages for visitors from the stars. As you contemplate the enigmatic Nazca lines, let your mind wander over the vast ancient landscape, feeling the quiet mystery of these enormous drawings. Whether they were astronomical tools, sacred spaces, irrigation guides, or something entirely different, the Nazca lines continue to captivate and intrigue us. Allow the soothing enigma of these lines to draw you into a deeper state of relaxation, guiding your thoughts as gently as the winds over the Peruvian desert. Let the whispers of ancient ingenuity and the mysteries of the Nazca lines ease you into a peaceful and restful sleep. The ninth mystery unveils the secrets of the ancient Chinese terracotta army, a breathtaking archaeological wonder discovered near Xi'an in 1974. Envision thousands of life-sized terracotta soldiers, each uniquely detailed, standing in precise military formation, silently guarding the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. These figures, crafted over two, two, hundred years ago, represent a remarkable feat of artistry and engineering. As you picture the vast underground pits filled with warriors, horses, chariots, and even acrobats, Consider the immense effort and resources required to create this massive army. Historians believe that approximately seven hundred zero 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 laborers worked for nearly four decades to complete this monumental project. The purpose of the Terracotta Army was to protect Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife, ensuring his continued power and sovereignty. Imagine the meticulous process involved in sculpting each figure by hand with intricate facial features and detailed armor, reflecting the individuality of real soldiers. The vibrant colors that once adorned these statues have faded over time, but traces of red, blue, green, and purple paint hint at their original splendor. The mystery deepens with the discovery of the tomb complex, which remains largely unexplored. Chinese historical texts describe a vast mausoleum with rivers of mercury, precious gems embedded in the ceiling to represent the stars, and crossbow traps to thwart intruders. Picture the underground palace, a microcosm of the emperor's world, designed to mirror the grandeur of his empire. The high levels of mercury detected in the soil around the tomb lend credence to these ancient accounts, suggesting a sophisticated knowledge of materials and a desire to recreate an eternal paradise. As you ponder the secrets held within the sealed tomb, 
consider the advanced techniques and organizational skills that enabled the creation of the terracotta army. The exact methods used to craft and assemble the figures remain a subject of research and fascination. Some theories propose the use of mass production techniques with interchangeable molds for body parts, while others suggest highly skilled artisans individually sculpted each statue. Allow your mind to wander through the vast corridors of the tomb, where the silent guardians stand watch over a forgotten world. The Terracotta Army not only serves as a testament to the power and vision of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, but also as a window into the technological and artistic achievements of ancient China. Let the mystery of these ancient warriors and the secrets they protect envelop you, like the gentle embrace of history. As you delve into the enigma of the Terracotta Army, Feel the tranquility of these timeless guardians guiding you towards a peaceful and restful sleep, where the whispers of long-lost empires cradle your dreams. The tenth mystery highlights the puzzling history of Stonehenge and the many theories about its purpose. Stonehenge, located on the Salisbury Plain in England, is one of the most iconic and enigmatic ancient monuments in the world. Imagine a circle of massive standing stones, some weighing over 25 tons, arranged with precise alignment. This prehistoric site has captivated the imagination of historians, archaeologists, and visitors for centuries. Built around four, five, hundred years ago during the Neolithic period, Stonehenge is thought to have been constructed in several phases over many centuries. How did our ancestors manage to transport these enormous stones from quarries located miles away without the wheel or advanced machinery? Some theories suggest they used sledges and rollers, or transported them by water along networks of rivers. The purpose of Stonehenge remains one of history's greatest mysteries, with numerous theories attempting to explain its function. One popular idea is that it served as an astronomical observatory. The alignment of the stones with the sunrise at the summer, solstice, and the sunset at the winter, solstice, suggests a strong connection to celestial events. Picture ancient people gathering at this sacred site to mark the changing seasons conducting rituals and ceremonies to honor the sun and other deities. Another theory proposes that Stonehenge was a place of healing, where people came to seek cures for ailments, possibly due to the presence of bluestones believed to have healing properties. Some researchers suggest it was a burial site, as numerous human remains have been found in the area. Imagine the solemn processions of people mourning their dead, paying homage through elaborate rites and ceremonies. Theories also point to stone, hinge as a center for social gathering and feasting. A place where different communities came together to celebrate significant events. Visualize the ancient gatherings, with people sharing food, stories, and music under the shadow of these timeless stones. More speculative ideas include stone, hinge being a landing site for extraterrestrials or a portal to another dimension. Though these lack substantial evidence. As you ponder these various theories, let your mind wander through the misty fields of Salisbury Plain, feeling the ancient energy that surrounds stone, hinge. Imagine the stories these stones could tell if they could speak, tales of the people who built and revered this mysterious monument. Allow the serene mystery of Stonehenge to envelop you, guiding you towards a state of deep relaxation. Let the whispers of ancient wisdom and the enduring enigma of this prehistoric site gently lull you into a peaceful and restful sleep where the secrets of Stonehenge continue to captivate and soothe your dreams. The eleventh mystery delves into the intricacies of the ancient Mayan calendar and the myths surrounding its predictions. Imagine the dense jungles of Central America, where the ancient Maya thrived over a thousand years ago, creating one of the most sophisticated civilizations of the pre-Columbian Americas. Picture the towering stone pyramids rising above the canopy, adorned with intricate carvings that tell tales of gods and kings. The Maya were remarkable astronomers and mathematicians, and their understanding of time was profoundly advanced, embodied in their complex calendar systems. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Mayan calendar is the Long Count, a cyclical system that charts time across vast periods. The Long Count calendar was designed to track dates over approximately 5, 125 years culminating in what some interpreted as the end of a cycle on December 21, 2012. This date sparked widespread speculation and myths about apocalyptic events, 
though the Maya themselves never predicted a cataclysm. Rather, they viewed the end of one cycle as the beginning of another, a time of renewal and transformation. Envision ancient Mayan astronomers, studying the stars and meticulously recording celestial events, each movement of the heavens woven into their calendar. The accuracy of their astronomical calculations is astonishing, with their predictions of solar and lunar eclipses, rivaling those made with modern technology. Embedded within their calendar is an intricate understanding of the cycles of Venus, the phases of the Moon, and even the movements of the planets. The myths surrounding the 2012 phenomenon often overshadow the true brilliance of the Mayan calendar, a testament to their sophisticated knowledge of time in the cosmos. Imagine the tranquil plazas of Mayan cities, where priests and scholars gather to mark significant dates with ceremonies and rituals honoring their gods and seeking guidance for the future. Allow the wisdom of the Maya and their profound connection to the universe to guide your thoughts. As you contemplate the enduring legacy of the Mayan calendar, let the serenity of their ancient wisdom cradle you into a deeper state of relaxation. Feel the gentle rhythms of their celestial cycles whispering through time, easing you into a peaceful and restful sleep, where the mysteries of the ancient Maya continue to inspire and soothe your dreams. The Twelfth Mystery invites us to delve into the enigmatic world of the Almec civilization and their colossal head sculptures. Picture the dense jungles and river valleys of ancient Mexico, where the Almec civilization flourished over three zero, zero, zero years ago, often considered the mother culture of Mesoamerica. Among their most astonishing achievements are the colossal stone heads, some weighing up to 40 tons and standing nearly 10 feet tall. Imagine the labor and skill required to carve these massive sculptures from single basalt boulders, transported over great distances without the aid of modern technology. These monumental heads, with their distinct facial features and elaborate headdresses, have sparked much debate about their purpose and significance. Some theories suggest that the heads represent Almec rulers, immortalizing their likenesses in stone as a form of veneration and political propaganda. Picture the ancient artisans, meticulously chiseling away at the basalt to capture the essence of their leaders, each stroke of the hammer revealing more of the enigmatic faces. The exact methods used to move and sculpt these heads remain a mystery, with some researchers proposing the use of large wooden sledges and rolling logs, while others speculate about more sophisticated engineering techniques. As you envision these colossal heads, scattered across the lush landscape of the Almec heartland, Consider the profound impact of the Almec on subsequent Mesoamerican cultures. Their artistic style, religious beliefs, and complex societal structures influenced civilizations such as the Maya and the Aztecs. The heads, with their enigmatic expressions and commanding presence, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the world of the Almec, a civilization shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Allow your mind to wander through the verdant jungles of ancient Mexico, where the colossal heads stand as silent sentinels of the past. Imagine the stories they could tell, the rituals and ceremonies that once took place in their shadow, and the generations that gazed upon their enigmatic faces in awe. Let the mystery of the Almec heads, with their grandeur and hidden secrets, gently guide you into a deeper state of relaxation. Feel the calm embrace of history, where the whispers of these ancient stone giants soothe your thoughts and lull you into a peaceful and restful sleep cradled by the timeless mysteries of the Almec civilization. The thirteenth mystery delves into the history and legends of the Viking Age, focusing on their mysterious rune stones. The Viking Age, spanning from the late 8th to the early 11th century, was a time of exploration, conquest, and cultural exchange across Europe. Picture the rugged landscapes of Scandinavia, where the Vikings originated, with their hardy longships slicing through icy waters, Amidst this era of seafaring warriors and traders, the Vikings left behind a fascinating legacy inscribed in stone, the Rune Stones. These stones, scattered across Scandinavia and beyond, bear inscriptions in runic alphabets, the writing systems used by Germanic peoples. Imagine walking through ancient forests or along coastal cliffs, where these weathered stones stand as silent storytellers of a bygone age. The runes etched into their surfaces hold messages ranging from commemorations of fallen warriors 
to declarations of ownership, and even cryptic spells. The gelling stones in Denmark, for instance, are among the most famous, erected by King Gorm the Old and his son Harald Bluetooth. They commemorate the unification of Denmark and the conversion of the Danes to Christianity. Picture the intricate carvings with interwoven animals and serpents, surrounding the runic text that speaks of the deeds and legacies of powerful rulers. The exact origins and purposes of many rune stones remain shrouded in mystery. Some stones, known as magic runes, are believed to contain spells or protective charms, while others serve as memorials to loved ones, akin to gravestones. The Viking belief in the power of these inscriptions adds a layer of mystical intrigue. Envision the Viking carvers, meticulously chiseling each rune into the stone, infusing their work with both artistic skill and spiritual significance. The runes themselves, with their angular and geometric shapes, were designed to be easily carved into wood or stone, making them both practical and enduring. One of the most enigmatic aspects of rune stones is their varied locations, found not only in Scandinavia, but also in places like the British Isles, Normandy, and even as far away as the Black Sea. These distant sites hint at the far-reaching influence and travels of the Vikings. Imagine the stones marking significant locations of Viking raids, settlements, or trade routes. Each one, a testament to their expansive journeys and encounters with different cultures. As you ponder the mysteries inscribed on these ancient stones, let your imagination wander through the rugged terrain of Viking lands, where the echoes of their adventures and beliefs still linger in the air. The rune stones, with their cryptic messages and intricate designs, offer a tangible connection to the world of the Vikings, a world where history and legend intertwine. Allow the enigmatic runes to guide your thoughts into a deeper state of relaxation, as the whispers of ancient Norse tales gently lull you into a peaceful and restful sleep, cradled by the timeless mysteries of the Viking Age. The 14th mystery beckons us to uncover the secrets of the great Zimbabwe ruins and the enigmatic culture that built them. Picture a sprawling city of stone, with towering walls and intricate passageways, nestled in the heart of southeastern Africa. The great Zimbabwe ruins, constructed between the 11th and 15th centuries, stand as a testament to the ingenuity and sophistication of the Shona people. Imagine walking among the massive granite walls, some rising over 30 feet high, which enclose the great enclosure, the largest ancient structure in sub-Saharan Africa. These impressive stone constructions, built without mortar, have puzzled archaeologists and historians for years. The purpose and significance of Great Zimbabwe remain subjects of much debate. Some theories suggest it served as a royal palace, a center for trade, or a religious site. Visualize the bustling activity within the stone walls, where artisans, traders, and rulers conducted their daily affairs. The discovery of artifacts such as Chinese porcelain, Arabian glass, and African gold points to a thriving trade network that connected Great Zimbabwe with distant regions. The city was likely a hub of economic and cultural exchange, reflecting the wealth and influence of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe. One of the most intriguing aspects of Great Zimbabwe is its architectural style. The precise craftsmanship of the stone walls, with their distinctive chevron patterns, speaks to a high level of skill in organization. Imagine the labor and expertise required to quarry, transport, and carefully place each granite block, creating structures that have withstood the test of time. The great enclosure, with its conical tower and surrounding walls, remains one of the most iconic symbols of African heritage. The culture that built Great Zimbabwe is equally fascinating. The Shona people, descendants of the builders, have maintained rich oral traditions that shed light on their history and beliefs. Picture the vibrant ceremonies and rituals that may have taken place within the city, honoring ancestors and deities. The spiritual significance of the birds carved in stone, often found at the site, highlights the connection between the people and their natural environment. These soapstone birds, possibly representing totems or symbols of protection, add a mystical dimension to the ruins, hinting at the deeper cultural and religious life of the city. As you explore the mysteries of Great Zimbabwe, let your mind wander through the ancient stone corridors, feeling the echoes of a once great civilization. 
The ruins, with their silent grandeur and hidden secrets, invite you to ponder the achievements and mysteries of the Shona people. Allow the serene majesty of Great Zimbabwe to envelop you, guiding your thoughts towards a deeper state of relaxation. Let the whispers of this ancient city, with its enigmatic ruins and timeless culture, gently lull you into a peaceful and restful sleep, where the mysteries of the past become a soothing lullaby for your dreams. The 15th mystery takes us deep into the ancient Japanese Jaman period, an era spanning from about 14, 0, 0, 0 BC to 300 BC, known for its remarkable pottery and intricate craftsmanship. Imagine the tranquil landscapes of prehistoric Japan, where dense forests, serene rivers, and coastal regions provided a rich environment for the Jaman people to thrive. The name Jaman itself means cord marked, referring to the distinctive patterns found on their pottery, created by pressing cords into the clay before firing. Picture ancient artisans meticulously shaping and decorating these vessels, each piece a unique blend of functionality and artistic expression. The Jaman pottery is considered some of the oldest in the world, with early examples dating back over 16, 0, 0, 0 years. These vessels were not only used for cooking and storage, but also held significant ceremonial and symbolic value. Visualize the intricate designs, with complex patterns and figurative motifs that reflect the Jaman people's deep connection to nature and spirituality. Some pottery pieces feature elaborate reliefs of animals, plants, and even human figures, hinting at their beliefs and cultural practices. One of the most fascinating aspects of Jaman pottery is the diversity in styles and techniques that evolved over thousands of years. As you imagine the progression of Jaman art, from simple cord-marked patterns to highly sophisticated and ornate designs, consider the skillful hands that crafted these masterpieces. The later Jaman period saw the development of flamboyant urns and vessels with intricate flanges and appliqué decorations, showcasing a high level of aesthetic sophistication and technical expertise. The Jaman people were also known for their dagu figurines, small clay figures often depicting human-like forms with exaggerated features. These mysterious figurines are believed to have held ritualistic or shamanistic significance, possibly used in healing ceremonies or fertility rites. Picture these enigmatic figures with their large eyes and intricate adornments, embodying the spiritual beliefs of the Jaman society. As you delve into the ancient world of the Jaman period, let your mind wander through the forests and villages of prehistoric Japan, where the rhythm of daily life was intertwined with the beauty and utility of their pottery. Envision the Jaman people gathered around hearths, sharing stories and meals prepared in their intricately decorated vessels. The legacy of their pottery offers a tangible connection to their world, revealing glimpses of their creativity and ingenuity. Allow the serene artistry of Jaman pottery to guide your thoughts into a deeper state of relaxation. The delicate patterns and timeless craftsmanship speak of a culture that found harmony between functionality and beauty. Let the whispers of the ancient Jaman people, carried through their intricate pottery, gently lull you into a peaceful and restful sleep, where the mysteries of their early civilization become a soothing lullaby for your dreams. The 16th section explores the mysteries of Easter Island and its massive Moe statues. Imagine the remote island of Rapa Nui, known to much of the world as Easter Island, isolated in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. This enigmatic island is home to nearly 900 colossal stone statues called Moe, which have fascinated and puzzled historians for centuries. Picture these towering figures, some standing over 30 feet tall, and weighing up to 82 tons, with their elongated faces and deep-set eyes gazing out over the island. The Moi were created by the Rapa Nui people between the 13th and 16th centuries, yet the reasons behind their construction and the methods used to transport them remained shrouded in mystery. Theories suggest the Moi were built to honor ancestors and chiefs, serving as powerful symbols of status and authority. Visualize the island's inhabitants, carving these monumental figures from volcanic tuff using stone tools. Their dedication and skill evident in each detail. Transporting these massive statues from the quarry at Rano Raraku to various locations across the island is an enigma. 
Some speculate the statues were moved using a system of wooden sledges and ropes, while others propose they were walked upright in a rocking motion, mimicking the steps of a human. Imagine the communal effort required to undertake such a Herculean task, with coordinated teams of people working in unison to maneuver the giant statues across rugged terrain. The placement of the Moi adds another layer of intrigue. Many were erected on stone platforms known as Ahu, often near coastal areas, facing inland as if watching over the island's inhabitants. Consider the cultural and spiritual significance these statues held for the Rapa Nui people, embodying a deep connection to their ancestors and the land. Some Moi also have large stone hats called Pukau, made from a different type of volcanic rock, adding to their imposing presence. The purpose and meaning of these hats remain subjects of debate among researchers. Despite the island's isolation, the Rapa Nui civilization developed a complex society with advanced engineering and artistic skills. However, the sudden decline of this once thriving society around the 17th century raises questions about overpopulation, environmental degradation, and social conflict. As you ponder the rise and fall of the Rapa Nui culture, let your imagination drift through the lush landscape of Easter Island, where the silent Moi stand as timeless sentinels of a lost world. Allow the mysteries of Easter Island and its massive statues to captivate your thoughts. Envision the grandeur of these ancient figures, each one a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Rapa Nui people. Let the enigmatic presence of the Moi guide you into a deeper state of relaxation as you feel the gentle pull of history calming your mind. Embrace the whispers of Easter Island's past, where the secrets of the Moi become a soothing lullaby, guiding you into a peaceful and restful sleep, cradled by the mysteries of one of the world's most remote and fascinating places. The 17th mystery explores the ancient Polynesian navigation techniques and their incredible voyages across the vast Pacific Ocean. Picture the open sea, with its endless expanse of deep blue waters stretching as far as the eye can see, and the courageous Polynesian navigators setting sail on their sturdy double-hulled canoes. These masterful seafarers embarked on remarkable journeys thousands of years ago, traversing immense distances between islands scattered across the Pacific. Without modern instruments, they relied on their profound understanding of the natural world, guided by the stars, ocean currents, and the flight patterns of birds. Envision the night sky, where the Polynesians read the stars like a map, memorizing the positions of constellations and using them to chart their courses. The rising and setting of stars provided reliable indicators of direction, while the appearance of specific constellations marked different times of the year, crucial for planning their voyages. During the day, these skilled navigators observed the sun's path and used it to maintain their bearings. The ocean itself became a guide, with its currents, swells, and patterns serving as clues to their location and direction. They could detect subtle changes in the water, noting variations in temperature and color, which indicated proximity to land. One of the most astonishing aspects of Polynesian navigation was their ability to rid the swells long, rolling waves created by distant winds. These swells interacted with the islands, creating distinct wave patterns that the navigators could interpret allowing them to find their way even in the vastness of the open ocean. Picture the navigators, standing at the stern of their canoes, feeling the rhythm of the waves beneath them, and making adjustments to their course based on this intricate knowledge. The Polynesians also used the flight paths of birds to guide them. Certain seabirds, known for their ability to travel great distances from land, would indicate the direction of nearby islands when spotted. Imagine the navigators watching the skies, noting the movements of birds at dawn and dusk, and using their flight paths as navigational clues. The presence of drifting seaweed, the color and shapes of clouds, and the sight of specific fish species were additional signs that land was near. Their remarkable voyages took the Polynesians to places as far reaching as Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island, forming a vast network of interconnected cultures across the Pacific. These journeys required not only exceptional navigational skills, but also immense courage and resilience. Picture the navigators and their crews, embarking on long voyages with limited supplies, facing the unknown with determination and trust in their ancestral knowledge. 
As you contemplate the ancient Polynesian navigation techniques, let your mind drift over the tranquil waters of the Pacific.